Hi, my name is Kim. Welcome to Kim's Crafts. And today we're going to be making this scrapbook title. Okay, the first thing we're going to get is the word road trip. Put that back over there. We don't want that. So you can go into text and you can text and search through all the fonts and whatnot. But I like to go to images, tape, road, trip. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, we have 617 results. We're going to scroll down. And this is right back up there. You can use whichever one you like. I like this one. I'm going to add it to Canvas. Okay, it comes out real big. Just click on it and we're going to shrink it down to like three inches for now. Okay, the second thing we're going to look for is a tree. So let's type the word tree and see what we come up with. There's a lot of different trees. So let's just scroll through here. Let's see if we find one that we like. I want one with a brown trunk and color top. Okay, I like this one. So also, once you find a tree, if you like, if you click this little bookmark here, that'll bookmark your tree. And what that does, if you go over here to My Stuff under Bookmark and click it, it'll show you all the trees that you have bookmarked. So we're going to go ahead and use the orange one. It's already down here, so we can add it to Canvas. I like that bookmark feature because when you're working on any project and you find a different picture you might use somewhere else, you can just go ahead and bookmark it. All right, now let's look for the road images. Road. And I have it bookmarked already. So let's scroll down here. Add the road. Now I like this road because if you look over here in the layers, it'll cut one piece with the slats and then the yellow is one solid piece. That's a lot easier to glue together. Okay, so now we need a road sign. A road sign. Oops, not seeing, but I guess it pulls up what we needed. Nope, road sign. All right, let's go to the bookmark, see if I saved it like that. That's not the same one, but we can try that one. And let's keep the speed limit 72. Have a couple of different options. Okay, they're going to come out grouped together, so you want to ungroup them. And then just make them a little smaller so you can get them out of your way. Okay, and the last thing we need to look for is the mountain. So let's go to images, type in mountain. Okay, and then once again, I have it bookmarked. And we're going to use this one. So this one is about five and two quarters in, or five and a quarter inches by five inches. You can make it whatever size you need for your project. I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down a little. Let's make this about six inches. Also, you can do the arrows up here as well. Okay, we don't want this grass part, so you just go to the mountain border and click on that and it'll hide that. Okay, there we have that. I want this to look like hills. So I'm going to change it to a light green, and then we're going to put our road. Let's scooch everything out of the way. Okay, I want the road to be a little wider, so if you go up here to size and unclick this, the little padlock, you can manipulate the road so it gets a little fatter. I like to be a little wider. All right, so there we have that. You can lock that back. So let's work on this tree. You see how it's behind the images? While you have the tree highlighted, you want it to arrange, bring forward. Okay, we got that. And also, it's summertime, so I don't want a red tree or an orange tree, so let's change it to green. Okay, and now we have, let's work on, that's two pieces, that's nice. Let's work on road trip. Okay, I'm going to change the font to white, highlight it again, and then I'm going to offset it. I usually use a 0 0.90 or 100. 0 0.090.
But you know, you're going to make it how you like it. All right, that I like. Click that. And then if you have the offset highlighted down here and go to contour, hide all contours, and then it will cut out all those little pieces. So then you have one solid piece. Then let's highlight them both and group them so they'll move as one solid unit as you're moving them around the board. Okay, so now we have our tree. We don't really want it. You don't really want your tree in the row. Let's put it up here. I'm trying to make sure there's no little space right there. You see that little white space? So I'm going to scooch it over to cover that. Okay, so we have our tree. Let's put our word in. Now you can make this as big or as little as you want it. I kind of like it a little bigger. Let's just fiddle around with it till you get it like you like it. And then the sign. The sign goes right here. Don't leave any white space. You can have the sign there. Or if you want, you could put the speed limit sign. Let's group these guys together so they can move. Then you'd have to arrange, send backwards. Like that. Or just moving the road. Get the speed limit sign out of here and use this guy. I like the triangle better. I think it fits better. Then you can just move this around how you want it to look. Scoot everything over till it snugs in real nice. Okay, say so you're happy with that. So let's go ahead and highlight everything and do an offset. Apply. Okay, hit this contour button. You want it to be a solid piece. So if you look, it's going to cut out all of these. Just hit hide all contours. Okay. And then we're going to do it one more time. We're going to offset it again. And then I'm going to do the last one in white. You can make the offsets whatever color you want. I just think it gives it a finished look. And say, so I got it together now, and I don't like this black offset. I want it to be white. So we can switch that one to white. And then the white one, we can switch to black. So all you have to do is, whatever you want to change the color, just click on it over here. You don't like the tree, you click on it and change the color of the tree. Right here, we can change the tree to orange. And it also changed the trunk, so we got to change that back to brown. So it's easy once you get it together to manipulate the colors any way you want it. We decided not to use the speedway sign. Where did it go? So we're going to delete that guy. And then group this all together so it'll all move as one unit. And then you're ready to cut it out. Once you get it cut out, then you'll have to glue it all together. And I'll make a video on how to put it all together when you're done. Thank you for watching. Bye.